Hello and welcome to The Skinny. I'm Melissa with what you need to know in and around Fort Lauderdale. A brazen armored truck robbery at a Regions Bank in Miami today. The FBI says an armed robber with guns in each hand approached a Loomis truck guard around 9.30 this morning demanding cash. The guard handed it over. No one was hurt. The thief made off in a late 90s green Pontiac and the FBI is still looking for him. A rough and tumble day at Macy's. A 64-year-old woman arrested at the Boca Macy's for kicking and biting a security guard. It happened just before noon. Officers claim that Elaine Hammock took multiple items into the dressing room and came out with just one. The scuffle broke out when she tried to leave the store. She's been charged with grand theft. She's got good taste. Those clothes were valued at 1100 bucks. It looks like travel delays and frustrations got the best of Shelby Griffiths. The 22-year-old attacked a ticket agent at the United Airlines counter at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. Well, it happened uh, yesterday afternoon, and two travelers even had to pull her off of the ticket agent. Griffiths was booked into the Broward County Jail. Her bail was set at $5,000. Speaking of Fort Lauderdale Airport, the Norwegian Air Shuttle began servicing the city just last month and already it's bringing 1,500 travelers to South Florida every week from Scandinavia. And the company's hiring in South Florida and, and New York City. They've added 170 crew members so far. Channel 10's Will Manso breaking some news this morning that Marlins team president David Sampson is a contestant on the next season of Survivor. The show was filmed in the Philippines and debuts on CBS next month. Sampson's participated in Hawaii's Ironman Triathlon. Guess he's following in former Dolphins coach Jimmy Johnson's footsteps. JJ did the show back in 2010. That's The Skinny for Thursday, January 9th. We'll see you on Show Rodeo.